Well, welcome back to winter in Canada. We are just outside of Halifax here in Nova Scotia and it's safe to say February is extra cold. <laughs> and a few of you guys have reached out to us to check in on us, see how we're doing, see if we're surviving our first winter in Canada in a long time. If you're new to the channel, you might wonder how is it a bunch of Canadian or a couple Canadians first time in winter in a while. Usually we're traveling. If you are new, I'm Trevor, this is Anna. Consider subscribing below and hit the bell if you want to do that to follow along in our adventures. But today we just stopped over to Lawrencetown Beach here mm -hmm. and it is absolutely beautiful even when it is minus nine out. So if you're a surfer you might actually recognize the name of this beach, Lawrencetown Beach. It's very well known in the surfing community and we've learned that it's actually well known around the world. We've been to different surfing spots, not surfing because we're not surfers, but been to uh, different uh, surfing spots around the world and we met some people and they always know where Halifax is because of this beach. Funny enough. I don't think I realized it's it's kind of a rocky beach. Yeah. There's yeah. another beach kind of around that cove up there um, that is called Conrad's, Conrad's Beach. Beach. It's one of the main ones that we go to in the summertime. It's all so sand. It's, it's super <laughs> sandy. I do wish we were more of winter sports people. We Maybe we need to get into this whole snowshoeing thing. Everyone's doing that here, cross-country skiing. But we are beach bums like we said before. And I think that's why some of you have been asking us like how we're, how we're holding up. We'll talk more about that as we go. Because it's been tough, but it's been tough for everyone. We're not used to this uh, level of cold, but we are trying to just appreciate all the beauty that's around us. If there's anything we realized this year, after being home now for like eight months and not being on the road, Nova Scotia is absolutely magical. So let's talk a little bit about what winters are like in Nova Scotia, because it's probably a little bit different than the rest of Canada. We are on the coast, so we get a little bit more coastal weather. Um, in December and January, actually, we're pretty nice, pretty warm, pretty mild, not too much snow. Watch out for this. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get hit by the icy waves. Yeah. Hopefully our boots are pretty waterproof. But anyway, uh, winters here yet generally aren't too bad. We don't generally get a ton of snow, but February is here and I always find February is the worst month and that's why we never stay for it. Uh, it snowed like 30 centimeters the other day and now, as you can tell, it's freezing out. So. Oh, right now I could I could be on a nice warm beach, but I always think back um, the last summer before I or no, the last winter before I quit my job was horrible. It like snowed and rained and iced all the time and there was like this much ice on all the sidewalks and it was impossible to go anywhere and it was pure torture. So the moral of the story is Nova Scotia has very unpredictable winters. However, they can be mild at times. It's a lot warmer than Ontario in like the middle yeah. of Canada, and that's for sure. we often get more rain. We do, yeah. except this Not month right in now. February. <laughs> <sighs> oh, you guys, we had to rush back to the car. My fingers are freezing. So the gloves I have, um, I need my fingers to be able to like hold on to this thing and not drop the, the tripod. Someone made a joke and said, they said that hopefully soon you can afford gloves with fingers. And I said, well, I got a really good deal. They were half price. super cool things about living in Halifax is that within about 20 minutes you can reach a whole bunch of different beaches including Lawrencetown, Conrad's, two we just talked about, and then in other directions there are a bunch of other beaches. So yeah, so I'd say that's, especially in the summertime again. It's such an amazing mm -hmm. thing we often forget about. We are incredibly lucky to be born in this province. Yeah. Guys, there are so many beaches in Nova Scotia and if anything last year we realized that we have some of the best beaches in the country. Yeah, amazing, amazing beaches. That's one thing we're very, very lucky about. We love living in Halifax, but that's definitely one of the benefits. Wait, I, I have a question for everybody, including you. Okay. What's your favorite beach around here? Conrad's is pretty great. We didn't show you that today. Hopefully this summer we can take a trip out there, spend yeah. the day. Uh, I'd say Conrad's. For yeah. me, any of you watching, let us know your favorite beach, well, in Nova Scotia, but specifically maybe around Halifax for other people. 
So back to the topic, winter. This is what we don't like. I'm not sure how well you can see these sidewalks. We just had 30 centimeters of snow recently. And well, these are icy, so it makes it a little tricky to get around. We're definitely not big fans of that. But this is the kind of winter we don't like. But again, it was mild for January and there was no snow at all. Or so we've decided to have a burger. We're going into Battery Park here. I haven't been here in a while. It's been quite a while. So for those of you that don't know, downtown Dartmouth is very trendy, up and coming. This place, Battery Park, was one of the first restaurants, uh, it's a craft beer pub, that really sort of kicked off this neighborhood. There's so many other cool cafes that are around here now as well. And it's only a 20 minute ferry ride, maybe even less, um, from Halifax, like downtown Halifax, to right downtown Dartmouth. So often in the summer, especially, we'll come over here because there's a really cool patio out back, but of course, no patio today, it's too cold. So let's talk about the real reason that we are here. It's called Ace Burger. So before Battery Park even existed, the owners used to have a place, two places actually, in Halifax called Ace Burger. They were kind of the originators when like, Burgers started to become trendy, putting different toppings on them, that kind of thing, and people started opening burger places all over the place. But they were you know, kind of the originals here in Halifax. Um, eventually, they closed the ones in Halifax, moved it here to Battery Park, which was very sad for us because it used to be right around the corner. We'd get it like every week, every couple of weeks. Now we have to come to Dartmouth, but it's kind of fun, I guess. What do you have down there? That looks so good. I went with the chicken burger. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So it's Beer brine, of course it's very appropriate since we are in a uh, beer place. Uh, beer brine, there is some honey, buffalo sauce, uh, pickles, and I think ranch slaw. Since the chicken burger probably isn't the healthiest thing, haha, fried chicken, uh, I did go with the salad to balance it out a little bit, get some greens, get some veggies in there. <laughs> this is going to be messy and hard to eat, but I guess that's, that's part of the fun. It sounds nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a thing of beauty. Mm, it's so good. I don't know what is on the outside, what they use to like brine it other than beer, but it's super crunchy. Really good. Have that honey, um, honey buffalo sauce. So a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. Love the ranch slaw to like balance it out a little bit. Oh, this is good. Oh, and the pickles. Don't forget the pickles. So I ordered the classic Ace Burger, and now I would argue, I think anyone in Halifax that knows about this place would possibly agree, I consider this to be the best burger in all of Halifax and Dartmouth HRM. It's so good. It's been around for a while. I feel like they perfect it. Mm. Mm. First, I need to mention the bread on this. It's a little bit toasted on the top, so it's a bit crunchy, but it's all pillowy, soft in the inside. I think it's the meat that is the best secret in this burger. It is so tender, so juicy, so flavorful. And then the ingredients are kind of basic. There's some iceberg lettuce, pickles. They have crunchy little bits of uh, fried onions, which I think is another secret to this. And also the sauce. It's like a Dijon, like a mayonnaise mixed together makes for the absolute perfect burger. It's Wednesday at lunchtime. This is a great excuse to have this because we are filming, but uh, we never eat burgers for lunch. But since we're in Dartmouth, we're on our way back over to Halifax later. We're going to have this. So check this out. You might actually sort of recognize this from a previous video. We don't own it. It's a rental car, but they keep giving us this big Jeep. This is a suck. Never even what are the that. odds of getting the same vehicle? This thing, just so you know, is an absolute tank. Yeah, it's great in the winter. <laughs> yeah. So this should probably give you guys a good view of Halifax. Mm -hmm. You can see the city is right there, right over there. It's all backlit now, so it's not uh, well. It's not that bright. <laughs> <laughs> then you have the bridge over there. So this is the harbor. That way, straight out, you would be right out in the Atlantic Ocean. You see, I think McNabb's Island over there. Yeah. And yeah, things like that. Yeah. So we're on the dark side right now. We are on the dark side. That's what, what Haligonians refer to as yeah. Dartmouth affectionately. The dark it's side. like this running joke. I mean, a lot of people <laughs> live in Dartmouth, um, obviously love it. And every person in Halifax loves 
Dartmouth they do. I mean, some wouldn't, but it's kind of this joke. It's like dark side. It's not as good as Halifax. Go to that dark side today. But uh, we like coming over here a lot. So back to the uh, task at hand. How do we really feel about being back home here in Canadian winter? It's been hard. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it was hard. It was a hard decision to make. You can watch that video. We'll make sure to link to it. Um, we know it was the right choice though, but in general, the cold is, well, it's taking some getting used to, but it wasn't like this, like we said. Yeah, like months December ago. and January really weren't that bad. Yeah. Right, it really just started a couple of days ago, and I was like, whew, just right now, we the wind is just brutally cold. It makes being outside yeah. not so much fun. No, this is the type of cold that if any of you, uh, there's lots of you guys watching that are now from Canada, this is the type of cold that can hurt, it hurts in the wind. Yeah. But um, what has been really helping with now that we're back home again is all like the staycations and things yeah. like that we were we have been yeah. doing like, like if you watched last week we were at Lawrencetown Lodge we had an outdoor hot tub that was like yeah perfect it was amazing that was so a month ago we did the boathouse like yeah all, those are really been helping with, all, like, all those feel like a very unique experiences like to me when we were in the uh, the outdoor hot tub at the Lawrencetown Lodge I actually could imagine like I felt like I was in Sweden or Norway or Finland it, mm -hmm. it, it reminded me like of that a Nordic I felt like I was on vacation, but if there's one thing about being back here in the winter, it's just making us appreciate the beauty of our province even more. It is extra special here, even in the winter, it's just a little bit cold for us. Of course, I start to talk about the cold and the wind, and it just comes up even more just to like spite me, I feel like. <laughs> oh my god, it's cold. If you guys can hear that noise, it's because there's a chopper up there. I can't even really see that myself because I'm looking into the sun, but yeah. All right, we're back at the uh, the rental here, as you can see. It's gonna have to do it for today. Yeah. It is a little bit chilly, as we said. We're gonna hop in our warm Jeep because we just got out of it to film this scene. If you got this far in the video and you're wondering who we are, I am Trevor. This is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to subscribe, click on the bell, leave us a comment, share the video. It all helps us out. Yeah, so last week's video, we were at Lawrencetown Lodge, like we just mentioned, at cozy little cottages. It was awesome. Yeah. Next week, I don't know. Not sure yet. Do. We do have some plans for like kind of a, an ongoing like what to do in Halifax video, but we wanted to warm up a little yeah. first because there's a lot of interesting things you can do in the spring. For sure, and it's also right now really hard to just to walk around in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> We're also going to do some more food, so you're going to get some of that. But every Sunday, we put out videos. When you subscribe, you will see us. Well, every week, on the weekend, at the end of the weekend, Sundays are the best days. Something to look forward to. All right, guys, that's it. From Halifax, well, Dartmouth, actually, wishing you all delightful travels. See you soon.